Well, hello there, Leos, to this countdown. We are one day away from the new moon, the first new moon, actually, in this year, this calendar year. January the 11th, new moon. New moon in Capricorn. New moon in Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is the planet of maturity and authority. It's also the planet of tradition, rules, being more serious about setting boundaries and enforcing those boundaries, right? Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. We're going to try to keep this as short and sweet as possible. All right, Leos, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. First card out of the deck, Leos, is everything is fine. Everything is fine. Somebody is definitely going through a major transformation in how you think and how you talk. Right? Nine of swords. Some, some nightmare is actually over. Source needs you to get your rest. Here we have the four of swords. And then we also have the ace of swords. So you can have a breakthrough. And then also the ten of swords. Notice these two cards are the same, but it starts out as everything is fine. These are the same cards on this deck. Everything is fine. Source is saying, yeah, some things were said. Some things may have been done that caused, for you, felt like caused you a nightmare. But Source wants you to put a manhole cover over the past. And I do see you doing that. This is a chariot card. Source is actually going to reward you for putting a manhole cover over the past. And saying, instead of me focusing on the cups that fell over, the things that didn't work out, I'm going to focus on the blessings that lie ahead. That's what Source wants somebody to do. So... That number one is very powerful because we're, like I said, we're one day away from this uh, new this new moon in this uh, this new year, 2024, the year of wealth, right? So some kind of wealth of knowledge was gained here. So you can look at it as a loss or a gain, right? But number ones on the light side of the number one, since we talk about all these signs and wonders all around us and when people are looking for signs, this is where source is like trying to help you to increase your knowledge and your wisdom about things. Number ones are dignified. They're straightforward. They have a penetrating sense of direction. Number one's vibration represents the masculine aspect of our human experience. One, uh, one people carry dignity. They like to stand out. They're proud. They're achievement oriented. They represent a primal impulse, has a strong self-worth will always demand respect and feel set apart from others. Strong views, definite beliefs, and protects those that are vulnerable. Number ones are private. They value their solitude. Number ones enjoy spending time alone. Number ones are very affectionate with whom they love and trust, but not keen on having an immediate familiarity with people that they've just met, right? Um... The dark side of the number one is energies, when you talk about number ones being out of alignment, are people who are boastful, aggressive, cynical, egotistical, and can even turn to bullying others to create a false sense of power, right? All those repressed emotions of anger and, you know, unwilling to join forces with others to cooperate uh, with people, you know, you know, kind of per, sort of preferring, preferring is their way or the highway. So they're not listening to trying to trying to understand another person's heart chakra. That's the dark side of the number one heart chakra connects us with love, trust, healing, gratitude, compassion, connection, forgiveness, right? So when you're closing out cycles and you're moving into this new phase of your life, which is the first new moon of the new calendar year, Source wants you to forgive yourself and also start the process of at least speaking into existence, sending out messages of love, of forgiveness into the universe, right? Even if you're not ready to forgive some other energies. Source wants you to start that process and put a manhole cover over the past so that you can move forward, so that you can move forward, right? This is a person who, remember we talked about the number two, right? The number two, the light side of the number two is when people are adding to your peace and you staying connected to people who add to your peace, not people who are taking away from your peace, right? That would be the dark side of the number two. So I got to stay connected to people who are talking negatively, people who don't operate in a spirit of forgiveness or love, or people who, you know, are not interested in healing. They're interested in continuing to be a hurt person who was hurting other people. So I can do without those types of energies. I can move on from those types of energies. So here we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Emperor card, the Empress card, the Six of Wands, and also the Eight of Cups, right? 
So Knight of Pentacles, Source wants you to continue working hard. This is what's going to save somebody, really. is like if you're looking for somebody else to save you, this is where you're saving yourself through your hard work and this Emperor card and learning how to get a lot more structured, right? Um, this is where you're learning how to move on from uh, energies that um, cause you to be impulsive or energies that cause you um, to spring forward without all the facts, on certain things right here we also have the nine of pentacles and so i do see uh source has been sending somebody a lot of information right so eight nine of pentacles and knight of pentacles would be like nine minus one right so source definitely wants you to keep doing the work and sending because you have at least eight streams of income and with all this intellect and power that somebody has been giving to something else like okay you're giving something the power like they did this to me and they made this happen. They made that happen. They did. You're giving something else, all this power. So it's just saying, use that same power and intellect, take your power and intellect back, raise your frequency and watch how wealthy this year becomes for you year and beyond, right? Head and heart may have been at war with each other. That fuzziness right there. Here we have, see this I try to move it back so you can see it. So we can you see this right here. Somebody has at least eight um, gifts and talents that's going to create at least eight streams of income. So it's just saying, in other words, you're way too smart to keep replaying the past over and over and over again of who manipulated you, who took advantage of whatever. I see your growth actually create your um, your creativity growing. This is the Empress card. So it's like you're about to give birth to some things, right? So this is how after some people have gone through painful experiences. Here we have the Ten of Swords right here. The words create that number 10, um, instant manifestation. Birthed out of something could come a book that could help change people's lives for the better, right? Um, a birth out of this could, out of all of this pain that somebody went through, purpose was being birthed out of this pain that you've gone through. And that's what Source wants you to focus on. Here we also have the Six of Wands. So I definitely see you back in the saddle, moving forward, slaying your demons, you know, being victorious over getting on, like moving on from like Source was actually trying to pull the leader out of somebody. But if you look at a person because they're older than you are, have more uh, letters before or after their name or how much money they have is knowing more than you do. Remember, source is no respecter of person. So the same, the same power, um, that they have, you say you have the same power. And that's what source is trying to tell you is like, get away from those energies that take a leap of fear instead of taking a leap of faith and believing in themselves. This is so it's need you to get away from those energies that they're operating in fear. You'll, you'll see how they operate. They're real fidgety. They're always all over the place. They shift the eye. They like to jump on the latest gossip. They like to jump on the latest this and that. And so it's just saying you're too smart for this. So I definitely see you getting away from those types of energies. Source has been trying to tell you that you have at least eight streams of income in you and to get away from those types of energies that just, like I said, they take a leap of fear instead of taking a leap of faith and standing firm on that faith and source in them. So it's just like, don't be like them. Those are the energies that throw their rocks, throw rocks and hide their hands. You know, the type of energies they like to instigate stuff. They like to keep stuff going. And then, and then sit back and act like, oh, well, then you, you know the type. Anyway, so let's get ready for, like I said, let's get ready for this. Um, yeah, let's, let's get ready for this um, situation here. Sources said that you've always been a star in your own right. <clears throat> Sources said you've always been a star in your own right. So get locked in and laser focused. That number eight uh, star card is a 17th card in tarot. One and seven is eight, right? So eight is saying get away from people, energies that have succumbed to, to, to succumb to passive and powerless behavior or egotistical, materialistic, and forceful. Like I said, dark side of the number one egotistical, bullying types of energies. They don't want to align themselves. They don't want to see why other people are hurting. They take that window of opportunity to pounce, right? So source is saying to you, get away from those types of energies and watch how fast source speeds some things up for you. Here we have three and eight is 11. 
January the 11th, I see somebody right now saying, hey, I need to process for learning how to forgive myself and stop speaking certain things into existence, right? Um, uh, and so this number 11 right here, this is where you're motivated to get as far away from those types of energies as possible. Now that you're in the light, three and six is nine. You've gone through a long and arduous journey with certain types of energy sources. I get away from those energies, just move on so you can keep the peace in your household. If that, if that's, if this is what you're headed towards, you know, you want to be in a very healthy uh, you know, wealthy relationship in terms of love and peace in your own household. You want a wealth of joy, a wealth of creativity, sensuality, sexuality in your own household, emotional range. This is feminine energy, right? So that's why I talk so much about learning how to balance out that feminine energy. So your head and heart are not at war with each other in your friendships, your romantic relationships, your business relationships. It's like, okay, that's where somebody's heart is. It shouldn't be fuzzy in your own household of peace where you should feel like you and your person uh, feel nurtured, protected, and free. But again, you're connect you could be connected to, it could be an ex, it could be a friend that you've been connected to, it could be an organization that you were connected to that was disrupting your peace. The dark side of the number two, right? Disrupting your peace. So it's just like detached from those energies. So you don't have to sit around and ruminate over this. So four and five is nine. You're going get, to get, start seeing your wishes fulfilled when you get away from energies that like to manipulate and disrupt people's peace. Get you all wired, wired and wound up about some stuff. And now you on, you on board, you on go. Right? So anyway, here we have the king of swords. So somebody definitely, your wisdom and your knowledge has increased. You know, and that's where I see you. And that's, what, that's what's going to help you to move through this portal um, and you, it's already started. The portal is already open for this new moon, the new you. It started opening three days, you know, like it usually three days prior to the actual um, phase and then three days afterwards. So you still have time to step through that portal and say, I need to get off the fence. I need to stop having all these ideas, overthinking the what, what if this and what if that and step through and start forgiving yourself so that you can start coming through in your own, your own purpose Every, everything on this planet has a purpose, right? And so people who have gone through some of the same things that you've gone through and they found their purpose in their pain, that's what Source keeps trying to tell somebody, is that you had to find your purpose as somebody found their purpose in their pain. And it starts making so much more sense when you're connected to people who don't know what their purpose is and you, you, your, your compassion for them actually increases. It's like, wow, you know what? You would have thought by people equate age to wisdom, but age does not equate to wisdom. So anyway, or the, the size of a person's house or the zip code they live on or the kind of cars they drive, they, uh, they equate, um, equate that to wisdom. How do you know how they've acquired those things? Right? Some people still don't know what their purpose is. They could be whatever, whatever they have going on, because all it would take is, all it would take is the threat of those things being removed from their lives. We know that your gifts create, your, uh, your gifts create room for you, but for a purpose, a person who doesn't know their purpose, a person who doesn't know what their purpose is, um, if they're threatened, like, uh, and I, I think we've all worked with those types of energies. If for instance, um, uh, a furlough happens, you know, all of a sudden they, they lose it or the threat of something being taken away from them because that's for them. That's where their identity lies in those things. Right. Then they don't, the, the whole idea of my gifts make room for me and I know what my purpose is. So if I'm a healer, I can heal no matter where I am. And I know that's going to make room for me and it's going to increase my that that's not the frequency they're on. So you can forgive them and move on. I mean, for real, you can just say, well, I forgive that energy. And, and, and I've already tried, you know, source sent me across their path to show them that, okay, you know what your purpose is. And just like, I'm sick, just move on, move on in love. Of course, in love, it's all in love, but that's what I have for you. That's what's going to help somebody move through the portal and just leave some things behind Again, in love, you forgive yourself, you forgive other people, attach to that kind of energy and just move on. That's what I have for you. I will see you all on tomorrow. Bye.